stop puffing your chest out there. Come on, man. <laughs> Coach, can you please start with an opening statement? Yeah, just like we told the guys before, just, I mean, this time of year, one more day. So, I mean, we, we got one more day. That's all we really cared about. Um, I just thought for our guys, what, what a great game. And it was it was a totally different game than some of the games we've had recently where that was our best offensive game we've had all year. Uh, did a tremendous job. Um, obviously, I'm just kind of starting the stat sheet here, shooting it from two, from three, from the free throw line, uh, everything. Now, they they... they they put us in a lot of binds defensively, but at the end of the day, when that thing came down to it, when you get to March, players got to make plays. And obviously, these two guys next to me, Bodie and Matt, can't speak highly enough about them. Uh, what Core did, Core Jakuch with his double double, Matt Kerr high in assists, Bodie Kerr high in points, uh, Daniel Coons was big as well. So, I mean, at this point in time of the year, you got to go out there and make plays. And so, I'm, I'm just really proud of our guys. And just one more day for us to prepare, to fight, and, and have another game. So, uh, very excited right now, very proud of the team. Coach, did you have to make any adjustments coming in today's contest, not having, not having played Sac State in the regular season? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of, well, not even adjustments to, to start with. We had to make adjustments throughout the game. But, you know, I think with, um, I think with all these, these first round Big Sky games, I might be wrong, but no one's played each other in the first round. Um, us and Sac and NAU playing Portland State, Montana, uh, and Idaho as well. So, you're in a normal year you played every team twice and you know what you kind of want to do and like we're just trying to teach our guys the personnel two days ago we're all in the same boat but uh as the game went on we knew they put us in some binds they're they're, they're very unorthodox with their bigger players they're forcing their fives coming off of ball screens they put their personnel in a very you know very uh smart positions where they put you in a bind but i thought our guys did a great job of making a few adjustments throughout the game to kind of hold hold that thing down you said in recent weeks that Kerr's um, the Kerr's recent performance is what you had imagined for him. What do you think has led to that? Well, the biggest thing is is he, he's not fouling as much anymore. You know, Kerr Jakuch is, 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 is hasn't changed a ton as a player. He's getting better and better, obviously, the more minutes he plays because he's still really young in the game. He's only played competitively for about four years. But going into the season, we thought Kerr was one of the best bigs in the league. And then everyone kind of looks at us like we're crazy because of his stats. But when you really look at his foul rate, he was fouling so much. And He's done a much better job of just not fouling. And over the course of these last five games, he's had five straight double-doubles. He hasn't been in foul trouble. And we talk about it all the time, if you don't eliminate yourself from the game, you're going to be able to be more productive, obviously. So the biggest thing is staying in the game. But then, too, another thing is he's making free throws. And Coors almost shooting almost 70% from the free throw line right now. And I think before this year, he was you know sub-50. And even that, that increases your production. But... Um, his rebounding effort is, is it's just at a very high level, too. So, I mean, he's, he's getting better and better, but the biggest thing is he's not eliminating himself from the game. Bodie, how have you been able to elevate your play, especially in a postseason? I mean, it's only <laughs> the first game, so we'll see what happens to, tomorrow. But it's, it's definitely just, just moving without the ball a little bit better. I mean, if you look today, now I'm, I'm thankful I had 30, but... I might have had all, all eight of Matt's assists, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I was a catch-and-shoot guy today, and that was really special for me, for Matt to find the open guy and, and make extra passes, and it, and it just it turned out in my favor. So I was really thankful for that. Matt, you had eight assists, 15 points. How were you able to see the floor so well today? Um, I mean, just the way just the way that Sac State played, I mean, they, they, they tend to load up a lot. And it's just seeing the seeing the defense, you know, seeing the seeing the not the initial defender, but just the backside defenders, and just reading that, making reads, and finding finding Bodie in his sweet spots. The game was, I'm sure, a little bit closer than you guys wanted down the stretch. Matt, what were you and your teammates telling each other in the huddle? I mean, we just had to stay composed. I mean, we kind of uh, lost it a little bit in the, um, at the end of the game, but we just had to stay composed. We had to just stay together as a team. That a coach always says that being being a together team. And um, I think that I think that um, that really went well for us at the end of the game. Your team didn't seem to lose confidence today, Coach. How are you able to keep them together down to the final stretch and the final seconds of the game? Well, I think in a weird way, just all the battles we've been through. We we every game we play just comes down to the wire. You know, we've won some, we've lost some. And but you know, I think when you when you continue to go through those battles throughout the season. It does. If you are a together team, like Matt said, if you're a team that you know enjoys being around each other and playing for each other, then those battles can make you tougher and stronger. So I think that you know when it came down to it, it's a close game with you know eight nine minutes left. Um, at that point in time, Coor was in foul trouble. Other guys had to step up. 
we, we didn't panic, you know. It's, um, I think it's a blessing. Sometimes when you go through a season and, you know, you lose some games, you feel like you should have won, um, that's not fun during the time, you know. But at the same point in time, you learn lessons, you know, and you learn a lot more from losing than you do from winning. And so I think that that's, that's a big deal. And, and our guys, like, they just, they just stepped up at the end of the day. Like Matt said, they didn't panic, possession at a time, and we got some crucial stops when we needed to, and that's the biggest thing. Bodie, with Southern Utah up next, you'll face another team that you didn't play in a regular season. Did this game give you any confidence that you have success in the next one? Absolutely. I think every game that you do well, and even every game that you win, it gives you confidence. Um, for me personally, I'm, I'm excited to play Southern Utah. Like Coach has told us many, many times this year already, we owe them a game. Uh, we, we didn't get to play them last year when we were supposed to play them first round of the conference tournament. We didn't get to play them, or we lost to them a year before that in the conference tournament. So really, for, for us, the older guys, we're, we're trying to leave a legacy of, of going as far as we can in this tournament, and that starts with beating Southern Utah. So that's going to give us a lot of confidence as is. Matt, what adjustments do you and your teammates need to make heading into tomorrow's contest? Um, I mean, I mean, I don't think we need to make any adjustments besides besides um, the adjustments that need to be made against playing against Southern Utah. <laughs> I mean, we we definitely got confidence from that win, and we just need to keep playing our game. And we're obviously going to clean up some stuff. You know, we it wasn't a perfect game, but we're just going to clean that up and going into Southern Utah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay, thank you.